Hello everybody, today we're going to be working with this piece of chocolate ice cream and we want to bring it to life by making it sparkle. So there are a couple ways we could go about this and you might be tempted to just animate every sparkle individually, but in this video I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways to do this using a single symbol. And stick around to the end of the video because I'll also show you why this way is better. So we've got a symbol here on its own layer that contains a very simple sparkle effect. Clicking into it, you can see that it's two keyframes, a bigger sparkle and a small one, each holding for six frames. Coming back out of the symbol, I'm going to duplicate it a few times by clicking and dragging while holding the Alt or Option key. That's looking pretty good to me. The scene looks nice and sparkly. The problem we're facing now is that it's really obvious that we've just hit command C, command V a bunch of times. So we're going to have to be a little sneakier. So the first thing I like to do is to flip some of the symbols. And we can do this by selecting the symbol we want to flip, going to modify, transform, and choosing flip vertical or flip horizontal. Now I've got these mapped to keyboard shortcuts. So I'm just going to quickly flip a few more symbols. Sometimes I flip them horizontally, sometimes I flip them vertically. And now it looks like there's a bit more variety in the scene, but it still looks unnatural because all of these sparkles are blinking in sync. So let's fix that by offsetting the animation. In the frame picker with create keyframe turned off and only keyframe selected, I'm going to change the starting frame of some of the symbols so that the animation is out of sync or offset. And this will look much more natural when played back. To take it even further, you could introduce more variety by rotating or scaling the symbols. Personally, I don't like scaling any of the symbols too much because the line thickness scales together with the symbol and can start to look out of place. But why go to all this effort when you can just animate each sparkle individually? Well, what if you wanted to change the color of your sparkle effect? The way we've set it up, I can go into a single symbol, change the color of two keyframes, and we now have blue sparkles. What if I wanted to add in-betweens to make the animation smoother? I can do that too. We could even completely replace the sparkles with something ridiculous like um, like flies, which doesn't make sense, but serves to illustrate a point. And that's why I think using a symbol is better than drawing everything individually. That's it for this video. It was a short one, but I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or you've got a different way of doing this, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.